John Sparky's Stratford Shakespeare Show. There are lots of ditties in it. Just you wait till we begin it. The Stratford Shakespeare Show. The Stratford Shakespeare Show. Here's a show that's very snappy. It's sure to make you happy. The Stratford Shakespeare Show. Do a promenade now. Sing about the bard now. This is Shakespeare's signature tune. Shakespeare's signature tune. Shakespeare's signature tune. Shakespeare is Stratford's big attraction. Tourists get lots of satisfaction. Shakespeare's signature tune. Shakespeare's signature tune. Do a promenade now, sing about the bard now. Shakespeare's signature's tune. Shakespeare's signature's tune. Now, Sly is a rare old English name. Whilst looking into my family tree, I was amazed to discover that one of my ancestors was William Sly. Now, William Sly had a close relationship as fellow actor with William Shakespeare. His family tree, his family tree, John Sly is so full of his family tree. Let's sing a few verses and then we shall see why John is so full of his family tree. We know he's descended from Shakespeare, that wonderful poet of yours. Who worked with a guy called William Sly in 1584. Now Shakespeare liked William's like missus, so he hopped and gave her a call. And hereby we stay, they did punch a mate, so we sing through it all. His family tree, his family tree, John Sly is so proud of his family tree. Shakespeare's real name may have been Sly, and Sly means clever. That is why all his works he could endeavour. Sly fits Shakespeare perfectly, so very fine, making famous the bards each and every line. Since Shakespeare died, his words have known fame, but alas, t'was goodly Sly who wrote the name. In years to come, as of all the years gone by, people the world over will read those words of Sly. From the famous mention Shakespeare's pen, the Slys are no rogues, the Slys came in with King Richard's men. So rest ye mind as those words of Sly live on forever and will never die. And so I decided to be an actor. Now I'm a bit of an extrovert, I love to entertain. I like to look at the audience and view them with disdain. For with the fame and fortune I am going to go to see. That's for sure to say, for sure to let the life for me. Oh, I want to be an actor. A great Shakespearean actor I want to be an actor on the stage I want to play Othello, Cymbeline, Macbeth, King Lear I'll give some great performances And how the world would cheer you Oh, I want to be a feel good I know I'm going to be real good I'm very sure I'm sure we will all the rage Oh, I want to be an actor A great Shakespearean actor I want to be an actor Shakespeare had a close relationship and connection with the Sly family. William Shakespeare and Christopher Sly often went fishing, hunting and even poaching in Chalkup Park near Stratford-upon-Avon. Stephen Sly was an upstanding citizen of Stratford in 1583 and often went drinking with William Shakespeare at Kit Sly's tavern. Shakespeare often visited Kit Sly at Wilmcote, the place of Shakespeare's mother. Can you imagine then? William Shakespeare and the Sly family Saturday night doing the Shakespeare Shuffle. Shake yourself about. I've not been beaten, about in 
Shakespeare's plays Get the floor ablaze With a Shakespeare shaking shuffle William Sly was a shareholder and found a member with William Shakespeare when the Globe Theatre was formed in London. William Sly was also a principal actor in all of Shakespeare's plays. However, it must have been Haven on the Avon in those great Shakespearean days. Haven on the Avon Haven on the Avon, what a paradise it seems. Haven on the Avon, Haven on the Avon, what a lovely place to be. Haven on the Avon, Haven on the Avon, darling, you and only me. We get away from our problems, we get away from the blues. Every Judas and Kirk gets away from that terrible telling news. Haven on the Avon, Haven on the Avon, what a lovely place to be. Haven on the Avon, Haven on the Avon, in our little boat of dreams. We've all read about William Shakespeare's liking for the maidens of the day and about Shakespeare's shotgun wedding to Anne Hathaway. I wonder if on honeymoon at Clopton House, Stratford, William Shakespeare serenaded Anne Hathaway not only with his poems, but with a ballad or two. Anne Hathaway's cottage is such a lovely place Hathaway's cottage has elegance and grace. When youngs come to Stratford or bubbling with glee, they get so excited and gosh and oh gee. And what's the first place that they all go to see? And Hathaway's cottage. And Hathaway's cottage is such a lovely place. Anne Hathaway's cottage has elegance and grace. Shakespeare in London, which gave him the pip, so homeward to Stratford quite often he'd nip. I'll give you three guesses where he had his pip. Anne Hathaway's cottage. What a wonderful place it is. Anne Hathaway's Cottage. We all know that William Shakespeare and Anne Hathaway had a daughter called Susanna, who married John Hall, a doctor, and they lived at Hall's Croft, Stratford. But now there is a mystery. Why? Is my ancestor William Sly. Yes, why is William Sly's portrait hanging in Shakespeare's daughter's house? Anne Hathaway was a good girl. She only had one spouse. But why is William Sly's portrait hanging in Shakespeare's daughter's house? The father was a very mild man. He didn't tell a house. But why is William Sly's portrait hanging in Shakespeare's daughter's house? She must have loved him very much. From what I can gather, there's every chance he could have been with Shakespeare's daughter's father. If you go to Cross or Stratford, you'll never see a mouse. But you'll see your Sly portrait hanging in Shakespeare's daughter's house. The William Sly portrait is a real mystery. You would think that William Shakespeare's daughter, Susanna, would have a portrait of her own father. But no, there is a portrait of my forefather, William Sly, hanging in Shakespeare's daughter's house. Perhaps William Sly is really William Shakespeare. Some months ago I read a book about a guy named Sly, whose wife had fun with Shakespeare in the Stratford days gone by. 
My real surname is Fly and think of Shakespeare with affection. Perhaps between the bard and me there must be some connection. It must be great to be related to Shakespeare, be associated with the bard. You may think I'm a Stratford fellow, needed some, needed some contentment. But one day I might prove that I'm a real Shakespeare descendant. And there's this funny feeling inside me, a feeling I find so hard to retard. It must be great to be related to Shakespeare, to be associated with the bard. Yes, it must be great to be related to William Shakespeare the greatest writer the world has ever known. Now my next song is not to be confused with Starskin Hutch as it's called Sparky the Touch. The pianist William Shakespeare might have liked so much. I've bought and sold pianos for years and years Played lots of tunes upon them Enchanted many ears They call me Sparky the Touch the pianist William Shakespeare would have loved so much. The bard is my ancestor, I want you to call me Sparky the Touch. Pianist William Shakespeare would have loved so much. If William Shakespeare and William Sly were here today, I wonder if they would have liked to have heard me played my next song, Shakespeare and the Sly Connection. There's a book coming out, there's a book coming out, and it's not about detection. There's a book coming out, there's a book coming out, and it's called the Sly Connection. You'll find it quite exciting, so a copy you must buy. It points out the connection of Will Shakespeare to John Sly. The Sly Connection Read about the Sly Connection Read about Shakespeare Read about Sly Read about the things they did in days gone by Shakespeare visited with Sly Shakespeare was a little bit Sly Thank you for listening to my musical story about William Shakespeare and the Sly Connection. Isn't it a sweet refrain? Shall we play it once again? Play it again. Can you hear me, mother?